Today on Alex Nottos, we are back out here in San Antonio taking a look at the all new Discover STT Pro. This replaces Cooper's STT tire as their off-road mud tire. I'm no stranger to off-road tires. I run Pro Comp tires on my lifted Jeep, but these are a little bit different because the tires that I have on my Jeep are really dedicated to off-road only. They are actually pretty terrible on-road if I'm honest. These Discoverer tires are designed to be almost as good as those Pro Comp tires off-road as far as mud rejection, etc. goes but designed to give you a much more civilized ride on road. So these are the kind of tires that you can actually live with as a daily commuter and still go rugged off-roading. As you'd expect from a true mud tire, we have large voids between these large chunky tread blocks. This is really how you can tell this is a dedicated off-road tire is because these tread blocks are large and they're a great distance from each other on the tire. That means that when mud packs in the tire, it'll actually fling back off again because when mud packs in your tire, you lose grip. By the same token, you can tell this is also designed for on-road use because we actually have sipes on this tire. That's something that I don't really have on my Pro Comp. Admittedly, they say that I have sipes on my tires on my Jeep, but they really aren't. They're really just smaller tread voids. Instead of the two-ply construction that we see on some of the competitors' tires, these have three-ply construction to give you slightly better puncture resistance and better rock resistance. If you're rolling over rocks, you can damage the tire, you can actually cause some of those plies to break apart, and that's a little bit less likely to happen when you have more of them. Our first test is the Great American Sport Mudden. So we have four-wheel drive Jeeps, which we're of course going to put in two-wheel drive because that's where the real fun is to be had. As you can see, the mud ejection ability of the STT Pro is definitely above some of those other options that we have in this segment. That's really what makes this so good off-road, especially if you're in muddy conditions. Now, obviously, the kind of off-roading you do really will determine what the best kind of off-road tire for you is. Because if you're off-roading in the snow, this may not be the best choice for you. I don't honestly think that this tire ejected mud quite as well as the Pro Comp tires that I have on my own Jeep, but these are without a doubt much more civilized on and off-road than the tires that I have now. My Pro Comp tires are a little bit difficult to balance and their particular tread pattern makes them a little bit more like a tractor tire. So they have high mud ejection capabilities, but not a whole lot of grip on real road surfaces. So asphalt, cement, etc. They're not going to do as well as this tire. This is a better blend of those two capabilities and it doesn't really sacrifice that much off-road either. These tires will be available in both light truck and flotation sizes. If you don't know what that means, then go ahead and click that banner at the bottom of your screen. I have a separate video explaining the difference between tire sizes. Price-wise, the Cooper tires will come in somewhere between the BF Goodrich tires that are a direct competitor to these and something like the Pro Comps that I have on my own Jeep. As with any tire, you need to decide exactly what you're going to be using your tire for before you buy your tire. This kind of tire is really designed for more rugged off-road use than something like the ST Max or the AT3, which Cooper also sells. So depending on how much highway driving you plan on doing or how much off-roading you plan on doing, that's how you decide which tire is right for you. Admittedly, deciding is never easy, but if I had to do it over again, I have to admit that I would probably buy something along this tire before I bought the Pro Comps that are on my own Jeep because while I never plan to spend any time on road, as it turns out, I do end up on road now and then going to the feed store, going to the hardware store, whatever in my Jeep. And those Pro Comp tires are pretty bad, especially in the rain. Thanks for taking the time to check out this video. Again, I'm Alex Dykes, and this has been the Discoverer STT Pro. Go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom of your screen. we will be updated on all my latest news and reviews. You can also find me over at facebook.com slash alexnados, over at Twitter as alexnados, and I'll see you next week.